Hi folks, it's Connie from Faf Designs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint and today I am going to give these bamboo and wicker bedside tables a makeover in Faf Design style. Okay, so the first thing to do when you are painting wicker or cane is to give the woven areas so the cane or the wicker which in this case is the drawer front the top of the bedside and the little shelf that you see at the bottom give those a good hoover because you can get dust and fluff and all manner of things trapped in that wicker that a normal clean, i.e. a clean with white lightning and a sponge or a cloth, wouldn't get out. So just make sure you hoover the woven areas of the wicker or the cane first, just to remove any dust or anything that might have got trapped in that weave. Then the prep work is actually very similar um, to a standard piece so I have my gloves on I have got my warm water in a bucket I've already put the white lightning into the warm water so white lightning is a granulated cleaner it dissolves in water and gives a really good degreasing cleaning liquid I'm using a microfiber cloth and I'm just rubbing it into all of the recesses I'm going to do upside down I'm going to do inside the drawer I'm going to make sure I give the wicker areas a really really good scrub because obviously it's not a flat surface there's lots of little nooks and crannies so I'm going to make sure I give that a really really good thorough clean And then when the piece has been thoroughly cleaned with white lightning, you need to make sure you rinse off the cleaning residue with clean water and a clean cloth. So I'm just doing the exact same as I just did, but with clean water. So just making sure none of the cleaning products are left on the surface of the area where you're going to paint because this can cause issues with the paint adhering to the surface. When you've allowed the piece to dry the next thing you need to do is to make sure that you give the surface a key now the framework of the bedside tables was made out of bamboo which had a varnish on and the varnish was slightly flaky in areas so i'm using the medium rad pad sanding sponge which is the coarsest one to remove any flaking varnish and to also give the piece a scuff sand all over to make sure that the paint has a surface that it can grip onto and that it's not too uh, slick of a surface. So you can see I'm doing all the individual legs. I also turn this piece upside down because I plan on painting the underneath and um, I'm also going to be giving the draw sides a stencil so I gave those a scuff sand as well and all you're doing is just roughing up that surface to provide a little bit of grip for the paint to stick to. Then the last thing you want to do is give the cane or wicker areas a good hoover again or vacuum and basically this is to remove any dust that has been trapped in there from when you are scuff sanding.
now for the fun part the painting i'm using the color evergreen from dixie bell paint which is one of my all-time favorite colors i love green and this is a real zingy bright green i'm using the um small oval synthetic brush and i'm also using a continuous mister bottle with water in it So I'm starting with the cane areas first and you'll notice that I'm using a really really small amount of paint and I use less paint than what I usually would on a standard surface and I'm using more water than what I usually would so more water and less paint and you can see that I'm crisscrossing the area and I'm also swirling my paintbrush which is basically getting the paint into all of the nooks and crannies of the cane area. It's a good idea with wicker and cane to build up the layers thinly because otherwise you can get areas where the paint will pool and obviously that's not going to look great so it's a good idea to just apply the paint as thinly as possible the first layer of this actually just looked like a stain or a paint wash it was that thin but it, because it was um, a lot more watered down it allowed me to work the paint into all of the little nooks and crannies on the cane area I'm going to speed this up because the first coat can take a while to get full coverage um, but I'm also using an artist brush here just to make sure that there's nice clean lines around um, where the draw slides in but basically it's just about getting as um, a thinner coat on as possible but ensuring that it is in all of the nooks and crannies and I also although I didn't film it I did also do the underneath of this piece because it's quite leggy and you can see underneath so I wanted to make sure that it was aesthetically pleasing when it was finished. Okay, so the first coat's are really dry and remember I used slightly more water than usual so I did let that sit for a good couple of hours before I applied my second coat and the second coat is really about building up coverage, coverage of the evergreen paint and making sure that it is a really solid block colour because that's the look I'm going for with these, I want a really funky solid colour. So again, I'm going to speed it up for you a little bit so that we're doing some speed painting. Um, but it's really just about making sure that you get really, really good coverage on those woven areas. It helps if you get really good lighting. So I'm right next to a window. But if you tilt the piece up and look at it from different angles, you'll quite often see, as I did, some areas that I'd missed first time round. Um, but definitely turning it around upside down looking at it from different angles you'll see some pieces that you've missed so all in all the frame part which is made out of bamboo took two coats of evergreen to cover 
and the wicker or cane areas took three coats and that's because I was using really really thin coats and slightly more water than usual so it's still not really bad coverage considering I was using super thin coats and watered down quite a lot. Okay, so I've set the bedside to one side to dry and I'm going to use a round Dixie Bell synthetic brush along with a cosy sweater stencil and I'm going to wrap a little bit of masking tape around the brush to keep the bristles nice and compact and give me a good stencil brush and I'm going to use the same colour as the rest of the bedsides to apply through the stencil. When you stencil you need to add paint onto the tip of your brush and then remove the excess onto a rag or a paper towel and this stops with bleed through on the stencil and gives you a nice crisp line. Okay, back to the bedsides. These have dried now for a few hours next to a heater to speed the process up. And I'm going to top coat them with Dixie Bell's Gloss Clear Coat for a really nice shine. I'm using the Mini Angled Synthetic Brush. I am basically using the same technique that I applied the paint with. So I'm putting very, very thin layers over the piece I'm working in small areas and I'm crisscrossing the brush to make sure that it gets into all of the nooks and crannies. Here we go with the fast forward button again and I'm basically just doing the same thing to the shelf at the bottom working it all into the uh, wicker and making sure that there's no drips or too much product applied to the round legs and just turning it around making sure I get every angle and I'm going to leave this to dry before doing the next coat. So just to prove I wasn't fibbing about doing the underneath of the bedsides, I just thought I'd show you a quick clip of me top coating them. So I'm just using exactly the same process, but I am applying it a little bit more liberally because it is a flat surface. So I'm applying it very similarly to how I would do on a standard piece of furniture, laying the top coat on and then just ensuring there are no brush marks or any places where the top coat's pulled because this will be noticeable when it's dry. So here we are after a couple of coats of gloss top coat and the stencil detail and you can see the coverage is fabulous and here's the final shot i've staged it with some hot pink accessories to make the green pop thanks for watching everybody hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel